everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this beautiful reflections throw, uh, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. I also have uh, a little bit of my sample one that I've worked here to show you. And then as well, there are more photos over on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So I'll just pull it back a little bit. This is the corner of the reflections throw. Uh, this is a very heavy weight, thick crochet blanket. Um, it's absolutely wonderful to kind of snuggle under and have over top of you. It's quite thick and quite warm. I've worked this blanket using a super bulky weight yarn. Today it will be shown in the Mandela uh, Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yarn. This is the color Labyrinth. You're also going to need, uh, you're going to need about, if you're going to use the same dimensions, about 19 of these cakes. Each of these cakes has about 87 yards of super bulky weight yarn in it. And this is a 100% acrylic. My finished blanket measures about 51 by 63 inches. I'll give you the instructions for changing the size of your throw uh, later on in the video. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a copy of the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. There will be direct links for each of these items in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. There's lots of other uh, free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. If you're a fan of super bulky weight yarn, patterns. You may also want to check out the Midwinter Blanket or the Winter Bliss Throw patterns, uh, which can both be found here on my channel. Now our pattern today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by take, making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain uh, for my size of blanket, so if you want about 50 51 inches, you're going to need to chain 92. If you would like to change the size of your blanket, uh, as I'm going to do here, I'm only going to work a small swatch of the blanket, you'll just need a foundation chain with an even number of stitches. So continue working your foundation chain until you have the 92 stitches or just an even number. Today I'm going to work with 22 stitches just so you get an idea of the stitch pattern. Once you get the pattern set up and going, it is a very easy pattern to work and one that I'm sure you're going to love. So uh, you have your foundation chain worked. You're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, one, two, I do like to work into these back bumps because it gives me a nice finished look on the other side. So single crochet into that second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three does count as a double crochet stitch. For row two, double crochet into the next stitch. So your chain three counts as your stitch. So into your next stitch, work a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. When you come to the end of your row, you can chain one and turn your work. 
I'm just going to continue working across as I'm almost already there. This is a blanket that will work up fairly quickly because your stitches are uh, quite tall. And you're working with this super bulky weight yarn. So I've worked all the way across. I have one stitch remaining. Double crochet into that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to work a half double crochet stitch into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch, so half double crochet right into that first stitch. Next, chain one, skip the next double crochet, and into the next stitch, two rows below, work a long double crochet. So what we're going to do is work a double crochet stitch, but we're going to work it over top of this chain one space into this stitch down below. So yarn over, bring your hook down, insert it into that single crochet stitch two rows below, yarn over and draw up a loop to the height of your double crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to chain one, skip the next double crochet stitch, and work again a long double crochet into that stitch two rows below, working over top of the chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, long double crochet, inserting your hook into the single crochet two rows below, chain one, skip one, and so forth. Continue that all the way across. You're going to work a half double crochet into your final stitch was your turning chain three. And I'll show you that when I come across. So I'm here at the end of my row three, long double crochet, chain one, skip the next double crochet, and then into the top of that chain three, work one half double crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row four, you're going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then a long double crochet into the next stitch two rows down below. So this is into the top of the half double crochet stitch down below. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and a long double crochet into the top of the next stitch two rows below. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, long double crochet. Sometimes the tops of your stitches will fold over. That's okay, just pull them up. With this stitch you want to make sure that you're not making it too tight because you don't want it to bunch. Continue it all the way across to the final uh, stitch and then you're going to half double crochet into your final stitch. At the end of your row four, you have your chain one, skip one, long double crochet. You have your one half double crochet left. You're going to half double crochet into the top of that final stitch. That brings you to the end of your row four, chain one, and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, that's as far uh, as it goes for the repeat, you're going to repeat rows three, so your half double crochet in that first stitch, chain one, skip one, then long double crochet, that's your row three, you're going to repeat that row 
and then your row four, which we just worked, until your pattern from the beginning measures approximately 62 or 63 inches. Um, now you can also change the size simply by working for as long as you would like. Now once your blanket has reached the desired size, you're going to work one more row just to kind of fill in these gaps that are here. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now I have ended here on a row three, but it might be slightly different if you've ended on a row four. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, what you're going to do is work a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then work a long double crochet into the next stitch, two rows below. Now this time instead of working chain ones and skipping, we're going to work half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Long double crochet into your next stitch. followed by a half double crochet into your next. So this is going to really fill in those gaps. It's going to finish off the edge of the, your blanket. You can continue across and then at the end of this row, fasten off and weave in your ends. And then we're all set to add a fringe. Now, once you've finished working your blanket, you're going to want to add a fringe uh, to both of your shorter ends. So for my fringe, I worked it very simply. I cut three pieces of yarn. Uh, mine are about 20 inches long, so they had plenty of room to work with. You can make them longer or shorter depending on how long you would like your fringe. I then simply, every second stitch, I inserted my three lengths of yarn, folded them over in half, and then I simply tied a knot quite close up to uh, the, uh, the top of the blanket. And that's all I did for my fringe. It took uh, me about one extra cake to make uh, my fringe and uh, yeah so just continue to uh, tie those knots adding your lengths of yarn every second stitch and uh, all the way across and when you're finished you can trim all these pieces to make them nice and even and then your reflections throw is complete so thank you once again for joining me and uh, don't forget to check out some of those other videos there and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.